Today I'm going to be looking at Network Technologies Montest LCD. I picked this up off eBay. It was $9. It looked kind of cool. Basically what this does is it will test uh, various monitor interfaces. Now the cool thing about this thing is that it actually has a really good list of them. I mean you've got original uh, Apple interface, uh, Sun interface, VGA, and then you've got your uh, BNC. This one says horizontal and slash comp. I don't know if this is composite too. I'm going to try plugging it into a VCR or something, see if it gives you a signal. I've always liked Sun um, video interfaces. Note how it's uh, a standard DB25 size shell, but it actually has three coax cables going through it, red, green, and blue. It's kind of interesting. Uh, it didn't come with a power adapter. I have a spare 9 volt. I wasn't actually planning on shooting this video today, but something kind of made me want to get this out of the way first, and that is due to the fact that I noticed that this has a little low battery indicator, which means it has batteries. And let's see if we can get a better shot of that. As you can see, the six uh, C-sized energizers have all devolved. Yeah, I'm going to have to clean this crap out, and it will probably be messy and dangerous. All right, that took a little while, but uh, basically what I did was I took each battery, wrapped it in tape uh, so they wouldn't all short out while they're uh, sitting in the bag, threw them all away, cleaned off everything, used some white vinegar with safety goggles and uh, some gloves, of course. Uh, the white vinegar neutralizes the alkaline in the batteries and cleaned off most of it. There may be little specks of white left in there. I don't really care. Uh, I'm not going to be going in here too much. Multi-board construction. There's a, um, a small board for the LEDs. A standalone uh, 16 by 2 LCD with a big fat ribbon cable and a little bodge cap on top. There you go. There's another board with the uh, BNC connectors connected by a little ribbon cable. And we've got just a uh, big voltage regulator and nice clunking proper power switch even though it's just a um, 9 volt power supply. Okay, I've got the motherboard out. This board is dated uh, 13th week of 1999. It's copyrighted 1999 as well, uh, which is funny considering the technology used in it, but you don't exactly need like fancy stuff to do what this thing does. Inside we've got an 8-bit uh, Intel microcontroller, the uh, TS80C32 standard 8-bit microcontroller. An Altera Flex uh, is the uh, EPF8282. 2500 gate uh, PLD. 208 elements. Nothing fancy compared to what we have today. Just a uh, CPLD made by Xilinx, which is funny. Usually usually you don't mix vendor vendors that much in these things, but hey, whatever. I guess they got it cheaper or did what it needed to do for them. This one's an XC9572, which is 1600 gates completely removed the battery holder and this is where it connected to this four pin connector here. I just completely removed it because uh, it was in really bad shape. Teeny tiny daughter board on here with a 32 megahertz crystal. Yeah, I think it's megahertz. I don't think it's that so I'm not sure because it could be something funky like 32 kilohertz or something for uh, video timing. ROM, it will memta or uh, Montes LCD and space for some more and the little header connectors for the BNC's and LCD at the front. Uh, you can see they've got a provision for the other arrangement for a standard LCD. Instead of a 1x16 set of pins, it's a 2x8 set of pins so they do actually have provision for that on the board. There is a blank connector labeled front. It looks like it's a serial connector. Huh. But there's also a, uh, an IC and some caps and stuff missing here. So I'm guessing you can't just solder on a serial connector and have it work. I think, I think it probably has a serial converter or something on it when you buy the more expensive version. Speaking of more expensive, you can actually still buy this unit. They sell it straight from the website, 550 bucks, give or take, which is kind of funny considering there's like $10 worth of parts in here. 
but hey, they don't sell a lot of these. At the back of mine says serial number 187, so it tells you how many of these things they make. Annoyingly, they soldered on the power switch, and these don't seem to want to disconnect, so uh, I have to have the whole front panel tethered to this thing while I'm doing this. Uh, there's also a Max 8211, which is a programmable uh, voltage monitor. Presumably for the uh, low battery light and whatnot for the um, batteries. They aren't, uh, they don't specify for rechargeable batteries, so there doesn't appear to be any um, recharging circuitry or anything. Although, because this is uh, just a connector, presumably you could put in a rechargeable battery pack and maybe they do have provision for it on the board. I, I don't see anything on it. Uh, on the front, there's just these uh, standard tactile push buttons with little plastic covers on them. Nothing too special. Uh, yeah, it's a basic basic board. There's not too much on it. I'm gonna put it all back together and we'll play around with the signals it can make. Okay, so it's all back together and obviously powered on. Um, as you can see, when you turn it on, it shows network technologies, Montes, blah, blah, blah. And you can go through different groups, Mac, Sun, these 30s, 40s, I think these are all BNC output formats. All up to 120, which is quite a high resolution and then it will switch to VGA oh, hang on, let me go back. now within each one of these settings there's multiple subcategories so you can set the different resolutions for example if I want 800 by 600 I hit select and now it's actually showing something on my flat panel I've got hooked up to a 15 inch flat panel and you can cycle through different patterns and you can actually switch on individual color channels intensity which is just dims the screen the timer actually shuts off the display after 10 minutes so it doesn't burn out anything you can set the pixel width and the polarity of the video signal and turn on sync on green and stuff like that sync on green was used on a lot of um, older apple stuff so this is the actual output signal i can turn the intensity on and off which dims the screen. Uh, I can switch off individual color channels. And there's several patterns. That is the crosshatch. This is the full raster, which is just fills it with a solid color. And of course you can make combinations of colors by switching on and off the red, green, and blue channels. Uh, you got your standard color bars, which again you can turn on and off channels and make some pretty funky combinations and that is about it there's also a grayscale mode which again you can fiddle with by turning on the channels but this is all it does it does it in something like 200 different video signals but this is all it does unfortunately I was unable to get it to uh, send a signal just through a straight RCA cable it's possible if I change some of the sync settings and whatnot, I can get it to work. But it's a little disappointing that I can't just use a straight RCA cable and like, you know, use it to test a VCR, that kind of stuff. But this really is designed for testing computer monitors. The VGA settings do actually go fairly high, well beyond what this particular monitor is capable of. Pretty decent for adjusting monitors. Not that I frequently have to adjust anything these days. But it is pretty cool, and it was a rather obscure piece of technology, so I thought I'd pick it up. It was kind of a neat buy for 10 bucks.